mentioned before, it's brownfield. We learned that you could subdivide the site and get a grant for each lot. So we subdivided the site into three sections uh, and applied, transferred two thirds of the ownership to the two of those lots to the nonprofit. We're currently holding the note while they clean up, and then they will be slowly transferring. The, we'll be slowly transferring the ownership over there so that the note gets paid off. And you have to really max out what is built here in order to recoup the cost because it adds. I don't even know how many dollars per square foot to your development cost, but uh, I mean, I think by the end, when everything's said and done, I think we'll probably have spent around 1.5 million on cleanup. You start to like follow that money, and you see where it goes and gets tacked on to then the rents or the sale prices, and then the prices of everything start kind of coming up, and the whole kind of you know that's that's the nature of the beast, and so you know it's just. That's, that's the problem with moving quickly is you need to do that. But if you can kind of, if you can slow it down and do it over a long period of time, I feel like there's more of a chance to kind of allow the area around you to also adjust simultaneously so that it's not such a shock to the system. A lot of times people, a lot of city officials just look for the big fancy billion dollar projects and don't actually invest in the local stuff and we've made an effort to do that so yeah. no the city's been extremely supportive i mean it's not it's not an easy time i think you know as you've read or seen even around town i mean we're getting nailed by foreclosures there's not a lot of money out there like you know but as 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 whatever the city can do they do to try to make things easier for us I got to really give credit where credit's due in regards to the brownfield stuff, and I, you know, I did not, I did some work on it, but to tell you the truth, the woman who's really spearheaded it is our direct, uh, executive director, Drake Patton, who came on board about four years ago now, and has really kind of, I think, we, we did a lot of, I think, trial and error, a lot of uh, experimenting for those first several years, and, and kind of did a lot of, I think, good exploratory work in terms of what type of programming works, and really kind of, I think, got our feet planted. And with her coming on board now, uh, that it really kind of has elevated uh, the project to where it is today. Uh, I mean, we've had people contact us from literally now internationally being like, hey, we want a schoolyard. And as flattering as it is, I think what we'd like to get into doing is helping people realize going to sound extremely cheesy, but what their steel yard is, and you know, it's not always a steel yard. It's kind of, I think it's really important to really take the time to look around, do kind of like a community asset audit, you know, and really sitting that sounds very jargony, but I don't know, there's some real truth in it in terms of recognizing what your skills are, what your strengths are, what your industries are currently, what they have been in the past, what type of machines you may have access to you know, what skill sets are in the area. And uh, I think once you do that, you can really, and if you then want to tie that to a place, uh, you can then start to really begin evolving the programming around that. We have ceramics, glass casting, uh, mold making classes, bike classes, slip casting, jewelry making, sculpture, recycle sculpture, recycle sculpture. One of our most popular classes is a weekend welding workshop. I think that we probably have, are getting, our goal is to have the highest per capita welder, you know, uh, population in, in kind of the U.S. I think that's actually quite attainable. Um, teaching is really not trying to necessarily push people in the direction of either art or artistic applications or necessarily industrial applications and try to walk that line between the two um, and let kind of show how they can be, how these uh, you know, skills can be applied to both and then let the individual decide. We have yet to really develop, which will be kind of, I think, developed over the next year or so as we kind of uh, remediate the site and create the kind of green space outside mm -hmm. um, will actually be kind of the outside public program. Mm -hmm. So we kind of, in a very in broad strokes, 
that is being imagined as kind of, you know, markets, uh, crafts and farmers market, if not even flea market type approach. Uh, summer theater and summer concert series uh, for and kind of direct access to the artistic process.